So like this, so typically given the user story, the requirement is always given by the business, means whoever is going to make the, uh, make the website, whoever plant website, and the, from the business, we call the simply call the requirements. It's called the functional requirements, okay? F are the functional requirement documents, or we call the um, system requirement documents, which is for the DevOps, SRS, system requirement specification, or functional requirement specification. You will hear many, many of the wording we say, it is end of the day is kind of the requirements. So requirement is like this. Okay, so, so this is the part you need to understand. There are so many things involved. The first of all, any project you go high level, what did this application does? Any project you go, what did this application does? That's actually the call the 30,000 square feet from the, from the top of the 30,000 square feet or point of view, you get the big picture of the thing. That's called the project. So all us talk about this. As I just mentioned, this is a single owner of the web-based application. It is a, the seller and the buyer. The seller actually managing their employee and then actually uh, upload the product and then update the product, update the product inventory, and they can actually manage the role base and they can actually do the, the return a product, approve a product, um, the return the delivery, update the status, communicate with the, uh, communicate with the, with the buyer and the, and the report a buyer, all these things actually the seller portal. There is two more portal, which is one is the buyer portal and the website. In the website, the from the seller portal, upload the new product, up the, update the new product, and uh, make the product as a feature product so that all these things, the, see, the buyer can see the review, buyer can see the product details, buyer can see the product, uh, like the, the uh, what is called the, the dimension based on the product and the product, all the ratio and the product like the attributes in, in a simple word. Attributes means all the details re related to the product. And then as a potential buyer, if they want to buy a product, they can add a product to the cart, but they have to do the sign up and they have to do the sign in and they have to actually add a product to the cart and they have to actually do the, go through the, the buying process. And the when they can add, they can select multiple idea. One is they can uh, pay on the card, they can pay on the Zelle, they can pay on the cash app, or they can pay when the product is delivered. So once a product has been paid, now this request goes to the seller product, seller, uh, seller. where the seller review the payment first and then review the product. And then actually they start the product delivery, it means product shipping process. Once a seller and the ship the product uh, through the uh, through the USPS, EP, the, the DHL or anything, and they change the status on the seller portal, product has been sent. And now the buyer can see product is actually on track. Product is already already is coming to their way, and that's actually the back and forth the process in the whole website application. This is basically the about the project. <laughs> 